Noah, uh, assess the difference between um, how the offensive line played in the first half opposed to the second half, particularly that third quarter. We played a lot better in the second half. Um, we we stopped just hurting ourselves. Uh, I think that was kind of the whole tone of the entire offense in general in the first half is, you know, we were committing penalties and, and you know, having missed assignments and then still, I mean, we were still, we were still up going into halftime and then, then at halftime, uh, Coach Riley just challenged us to, to keep finishing and, and uh, to just play our game and, and play to the level that we are capable of playing at. And um, in the second half, that's what we did. We got out there and we uh, started coming off the ball and sustaining blocks and opening it up for the offense. And uh, it, was, it was nice to see. What's it like to play for Connor Riley? It's it's uh it's fun. It's it's a different experience uh, from some of my past coaches. He's a super emotional guy, and but uh, he he loves he loves he loves us, you know, and and he gets fired up at times, and that's what you need in a in a football coach and an offensive line coach. You need a guy who's who's got passion and who's who cares, and uh, he does a great job of making sure we're prepared every week for not only you know, what's the defensive personnel that we're going against, but also really teaching us the schemes that are running so we know what, what keys to look for and pressures and different fronts and stuff like that. And, uh, yeah, he's, it's awesome to play for him, and he makes, he makes all of us a lot better. After not playing a whole lot last year and now being a captain and a starter, do you feel like you're kind of settling into everything in this role? Oh uh, yeah, it's still it's still something I still got to keep playing better. Um, I you know have not yet played to the level that I I want to play at. Um, and last year not playing uh, was frustrating, but it was also kind of a blessing in disguise because I got to learn behind Adam Holtorf and and really get more comfortable playing center and learning our offense. And it's uh, it's still a thing where every game I'm becoming more comfortable just in game scenarios and. Um, just gonna keep keep working and keep trying to get better. Thanks, Noah. Appreciate it, buddy. Thank you, John. You know, I remember hearing uh, Coach Kleiman say within the last couple of weeks that when Will had come into the game, you were somebody that he asked about, "Hey, what's his command of the huddle like?" And you had said, "Hey, he really has a great command of it." Just take me through what it's been like with with Will there and how uh, how much leadership he provides right now, even as just a freshman. Uh, you know, Will does he does as good a job as as anyone. Um, obviously, losing Skyler, you lose you lose so much, man. Skyler brought so much to uh, to our program, and is just an excellent teammate and an excellent leader. But uh, you know, Will is he's he's doing a great job. Um, I've said it before, but there's never been any moment where I felt like he was uh, not too big for the moment that he was in. He's always very poised. He's always, he's always very vocal. Um, he does a great job of, of uh, keeping everyone calm and, and keeping everyone focused on, on one play at a time. And um, it's just, it's really impressive to see. And it, it's really cool to see because, uh, you know, I couldn't have done that as a true freshman at 18 years old. Uh, I don't think there's a, a ton of people who could. And, uh, you know, Will's, Will's a great player, and he's only going to keep getting better, and that's what's awesome to see. Appreciate it, Noah. Mm -hmm. Adam? Noah, <clears throat> Noah, kind of off that, before Skyler went down, you were snapping the ball to him, and you and him had a great connection on and off the field. Just with the couple of games that you've been able to snap the ball to Howard, just how much of a friendship have you gained from him, and how much have you seen the team rally around that? Um, even from, even from, you know, the moment Will got here, uh, I think everybody kind of noticed how talented of a kid he was, how hardworking he is, and just, he's a good dude. Um, and then, uh, once, once Skyler went down and Will stepped into the, uh, stepped into the role, we really started spending more time with him just as a, you know, a whole offensive line and, um, just getting along with him and hanging out and, uh. He's 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 fun to play with. Um, you know, he's 
always um, looking out for us and, and, and talking to us and letting us know, uh, telling us good job and stuff like that. And that's, that's nice to hear. Um, and like I said, it's, it's still a thing that's just going to keep getting better the more we play together. And we're just going to keep growing together and uh, keep working at it. Last one here, Ryan. Hey, no, I mean, I know it's very early in the week, so potentially he hasn't mentioned much about it, but uh, has Will said anything about how much this game's going to mean to him? Because it's, this is going to be the closest home game for him by far. I mean, Philadelphia is not all that far away from, from Morgantown, so I don't know if he's expressed to you or anybody else on the team just like, hey, I'm maybe going to have more family at this game. And, and you know, this, this, this is like my KU game kind of thing. Mm -hmm. Has he said anything like that yet? Uh, no, I, he hadn't mentioned that. I hadn't really thought about that, but, uh, it'll be nice because I, I know his family has been coming to all of his games, but it'll be nice to have some more people be able to come and see him play. And, um, but I know at the same time, Will is not going to change his preparation or his outlook based on trying to show people, um, his game. He's just, he's playing for his teammates and he's playing for our program and, uh, and that's that's what's most important. And I guess as a follow up to that, was there a moment, whether it was in practice or when he got into one of the games, when you were like, "Wow, you know, this is incredibly impressive for a true freshman to be able to step in like this and show this kind of command." I'd say throughout fall camp, um, he made a ton of throws. That he made, he just made a lot of plays, and so we all knew how talented he was. Um, and then when he got into that Texas Tech game, like I said, you know, it just Everything was smooth. There was no noticeable nerves. There was no noticeable, uh, you know, not being ready. He was completely ready. And, I mean, as a guy who was a backup last year, I know how tough it is to stay ready to, you know, come in as a, as a starter if you have to. And Will handled that extremely well.